Carpet Tile Manufacturer Interface Floor has a bold and ambitious plan to have a restorative impact on the environment by 2020. Hear more about that plan and what they'll do when they reach the top of Mount Sustainability in this short video, part of the Champions of Responsible Business video series. So there's lots of companies who talk about sustainability and what sustainability really means for us is it's a very bold long-term vision about who we want to be as a company. So it, it really looks at our entire system and says if we were to model this in a sustainable way, what would we really look like? And it means that we'll be a company that will do things like use renewable energy, have zero waste have zero emissions, have a fully closed loop system where we're using as many non-virgin materials as we possibly can. So we have this big vision that's been broken out into a great framework internally and has a, has a time sensitive goal. We've basically said we want to be a company that leaves no environmental impact and has a restorative impact by the year 2020. So it's a huge goal. But what's, what's been really wonderful is our people have really risen to that challenge. So we started this in 1994 when our founder and chairman had an epiphanal experience and changed the vision and the values of our company and really put us in a, in a direction that time has proven, has been a wonderful direction for business, has been a wonderful direction for people, and fundamentally is the right place where we need to be. So we feel really confident about the progress we've made to date. Um, but, you know, there's an interesting tension and anxiety at our company. Uh, we have a time-sensitive goal that is hugely aspirational, to be a sustainable company and have a restorative impact by 2020. We have some restorative impacts now. We're not fully sustainable. We still have some challenges around renewable energy in terms of making 100% of our operations run on renewable energy. We still have some challenges around making a fully closed loop system with our materials, but we've made amazing progress. We started at 0% recycled content in 1996. Now, 40% of the stuff that we make is from recycled stuff. It's a huge leap in about 16 years. And what's very interesting is we're poised to make an even bigger leap because right now we can see our way to making products that are about 85% recycled content, base fiber and backing. Right now, it's just a function of having the supply, working with our supply chain so that we have more recycled materials to get those products that are 40% recycled up to 85%. It's possible, we can do it, we just can't do it across all of our product lines. So we're about eight years away from that. And there's, while there's a sense of anxiety, there's also a huge sense of hopefulness. We can see our way clear to that path, but it's still gonna require a lot of hard work. It's gonna require some continued focus and investment, and it's gonna require a little magic, a little innovation, and some really great ideas to get us there. Um, and what's very interesting is we've been starting to hear what's next for us. So if we reach 2020 and we're at the top of the mountain, what do we think is really next? And it's a really hard question to answer. Um, I think our business will not fundamentally change in 2020 but I think what's next for us might include what role we have in taking what we've learned to other companies. Um, we've always informally been a company where we've invited people to come and experience, to learn. We've also been avid learners from other companies. Early in our journey, a, a really critical step we took in the very beginning was to recruit a bunch of people from a range of different perspectives to help us really figure out what's the first step on the journey? And we're very open to having that same group of people, to having a bigger group of people come in and really have some dialogue with us about what's the next step. So I'm hopeful that we're gonna get there in 2020. We can see our way there, but we still have a lot of work to do.